Okay, I thought it would be interesting to talk about records that have animated elements to them. And I thought maybe I'd better talk about Edward Mybridge first, who would take a succession of stills and piece them together, like an elephant walking or a couple dancing, and create kind of the very first motion picture images. Um, there are a lot of bands like Arcade Fire with uh, the album Neon Bible, where they would create motions uh, using lenticulars or, or flip books or things like that. But I actually want to talk about just vinyl for this video. I'll talk about CDs in another video. And one of the big uh, companies, uh, the Red Raven Magic Mirror series, um, which was really popular for children's books. They would do Frosty the Snowman and a whole bunch of uh, children's stories and songs. Uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. And you'd put the mirror on top of the record. And as the record would spin, the mirror would show... Uh, one frame at a time in essence because it was um, reflecting one of the images at a time. So they were very popular. There was a whole series of things. Um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, uh, Tootles, the Tugboat, <laughs> uh, just a whole bunch of things like this. I could actually um, show these kind of records for an awful long time. And all these things like Old MacDonald had a farm, and songs like this were children's records. They were popular with children. Um, this particular series of the Red Raven record series. But they certainly weren't the first to create these animated images. They were um, popular and entertaining. Little kids on Ferris wheels and um, toy soldiers um, saluting, all sorts of things like this. But there's a, a long history of trying to create these animated things, um, really becoming more popular when Edward Mybridge created his first series. Um, so I actually want to go back a little bit more because there are some interesting things that were created um, before the modern stuff, um, which is ultimately what I'd like to talk about. I'll keep the discussion about uh, Red Raven uh, Magic Mirror records to a minimum. And there's actually a whole series of different types of, of records out there. And to talk about things like this, I, mean, I, I feel like I have to talk about Marcel Duchamp for a minute, who uh, was one of the very first people to actually try to create art out of um, motion. Um, circles and, and weird things that were just off-centered and as you would twirl the uh, disc around it would start to animate and it's hard to talk about Marcel Duchamp without uh, recognizing one of the record labels that would come later uh, Vertigo Records um, which has a very similar um, effect as the record would rotate around the spindle. There were also these little uh, toys called Fenachistoscopes which were novelty items that um, as you spun them around would animate a short a series of images. Once again, as you would rotate them and look through the little slots, you would see an animation. There are just a ton of these uh, available out there. Um, monsters, faces would morph, and uh, weird mouths and eyes, and uh, there's this one where this woman is beating this guy with a stick. <laughs> um, another one that has kind of a Greek um, goddess type person uh, spilling things out. Kind of a frog and Mr. Toad frog leap thing. And so there's a seemingly endless number of these things. Um, lots of examples online. If you looked around, you'd find something like a, the Satan with his head being chopped off and endlessly growing back and <laughs> um, jumping between top hats, things like that. And there's a lot of uh, labels actually that did these kind of things. There's some Hebrew label. I don't really know anything about it, but it's a uh, They've got some good animations, this kid fishing, this character from a story with this big needle walking along with his cap bouncing around behind him. There's an elephant walking behind some palm trees, which is also kind of interesting. There's a kid playing an accordion. There's a train moving along railroad tracks with flowers going by and puffs of smoke coming out of the chimney stack. But, the, but they're the same thing. I mean, if you looked at the record straight, it would be backwards. But if you looked at it reflected in a mirror, it would be reflected forward again. And, um, and there's one with a clock that demonstrates that pretty well. 
And then there's a whole series, um, Calidus discs. I don't know a lot about these. I, I just happened to find three of them being sold once. And it turned out, uh, to me, they're, they seem kind of uh, mildly racist. I don't know how else to say it. In fact, one of them so much so that I, I'm not even going to include it in this video. But, you know, cowboys and Indians and, and things like this. Um, little soldiers marching along. But it's, it's the same effect, the same effect as the Red Raven movie records. And then there's another series out of Milan, Italy. Um, and I'm not sure, I, I don't know much about this label either, but again, exact same thing. If you um, were to rotate these things and animate them, there's a dog uh, eating this snake of, of uh, sausages <laughs> um, another kind of this Russian guy dancing or um, kind of a dolphin type thing bouncing a ball with a seal in the foreground also bouncing a ball there's one of Pele which um, is kind of like the records I just mentioned before but the animations are nice um, done well and in fact I ran across another random thing uh, Ghost of Maine I believe it was called Persistence of Vision online I don't know anything about that record but I'd like to talk about more modern bands, such as Dream End, which is uh, Ryan Graveface's main project from the Graveface record label. There's a really warped one, and the tears washed me, uh, wave after cowardly wave, and the, there's this guy that's being hung, and I don't know if it's his dying breath or he just hits the bottom of the rope, but it's a, a morbid, uh, hand-drawn animation, which, if you set it up, you actually would set up a beer glass on top of the record with the little uh, disc with the slits and you'd actually look through them. There's another Dream End record called So I Ate Myself Bite by Bite, which is also kind of morbid. Another hand-drawn image where he's sticking one hand in his gut and pulling his intestines out and then eating them and then it goes back down to his belly and he pulls them out of his intestine and stuffs them back in his mouth again. <laughs> There's another musician called Shogun Kunataki, but he's got this interesting record where it looks like he took a hole punch to a magazine and then grabbed each of the little hole punch circles and then placed them on the record. So if you had a strobe going at the same time that you were playing the record, it would be this smooth motion of these little circles like molecules or atoms uh, vibrating on the record. I also need to mention a Kate Bush record, Running Up That Hill, which was a Record Store Day release from uh, 2013. And if you played it, it actually would play the wrong direction. You wouldn't be able to see it animating. But if you did a simple stop motion animation with it, it would look like one of the um, Mybridge um, animations. She's just taken this uh, fish head thing and put it on the person. Um, but the smoothest ones, some of the nicest ones, are actually these uh, records by uh, Bonobo and Sculpture. The Bonobo record is really smooth. If you look at it up close, from a distance, I mean, it animates really well, especially if you take a camera and videotape it um, at a particular frame rate, um, 24, I think it is. And then um, if you look at it up close, there's a guy jumping on a trampoline, a girl running, a person um, punching in a clock or something. And it's really cool. If you search for the music video online of this because it's it's actually really cool. <laughs> it's, um, and it's m even more unusual than the record, but you can see where all the imagery came from for the record. But this band, Sculpture, um, has done a whole bunch of these records. I think the most recent one might be uh, Plastic Infinite. And it does these really smooth animations. There are so many um, frames that as you're watching it, the little things um, explode or shrink or um, circle around the middle of this record. It, it's really kind of a very smooth animation. It looks very nice. The backside's black and white of this particular record, and it, it doesn't um, animate or, or it's not as visually interesting as the other side, but it's still very cool. But their earlier record, um, Rotary Signal Emitter, uh, is is kind of like the, the Bonobo record. It's really smooth and really kind of freaky and cool. And I'll show you lots of different parts of it. Um, the center of the record and the edge of the record, um, both A side and B side. There's animating images on both sides of this record. And then they did another record. Um, 
toad blinker, which um, <laughs> I've got some really cool, bizarre little creatures that are bouncing up and down, and one of them I think is shooting something out of his eyes, and um, this pattern in the background uh, smoothly moves um, from the outside of the record in. Um, there's other little creatures toward the center of the record which are flipping around and very, very unusual. Very cool. I also want to mention a record that hasn't been released yet. There's an artist named Michael Hansen who was working with um, Alan uh, uh, Gravgard Madsen. I'm not even sure I pronounce his uh, name correctly here, but the record, if produced, I'm hoping it gets produced. I've tried to put in a pre-order for it, and they said it, it's not out yet. But the artist, Michael, has created this really nice, smooth uh, animation of these white wireframe uh, geometric shapes on one side, there's dots on the other side, but um, they kind of twirl around and rotate and, and things like that. It looks very cool, and, and the, the uh, composer's music is, is pretty interesting too, so I'd love to get a, a hold of this record, but again, it hasn't even been released yet. And then there's interesting things like the Bombay Bicycle Club's uh, So Long, See You Tomorrow. If you could actually rotate that record, you would actually see that it's also an animation. You could see a, a man walking on the outside with the sun, uh, rising and then a, a woman took closer to the middle walking in the opposite direction and there's another animation in the middle where they're walking off on a sunset together and a tree's growing these weird shapes. Um, the Octopus Project has an album called Hexadecagon which has a similar type of zoetrope animation and I haven't actually cut this apart but you could chop it apart and then um, watch this spinning on top of the record. But if you constructed the zoetrope, you would see these weird heads that rotate, a person who's uh, walking, I guess, away from the camera, um, this girl twirling her head and flowers falling from it. Lots of really interesting visuals. In addition to these zoetrope effects, there's a whole bunch of other types of optical illusions included in a lot of records, but I think I'll save that for a future video.